professor of mine at Yale who did this very interesting research into uh, saving preferences. He made the argument that language differences between English and Chinese uh, have an impact on how people decide whether to s uh, spend or save their money. Uh, he said that because Chinese lacks tense markers, so verbs don't change past, present, future. In English, verbs change, past, present, future are different. He argued that in English, therefore, there's a gap or there's a disconnect between present me and future me, whereas in Chinese, it's the same thing. And so he said that in Chinese, because people recognize future me is the same thing as present me, they save money because that will benefit them in the future. Uh, a friend of mine gave me this book called The Geography of Thought. Uh, it was written by a University of Mich uh, Michigan professor uh, called Richard Nisbet. What he called cross-cultural cognitive differences. And so he was looking at the West and the East. And so he said that by and large, Eastern communities and Eastern cultures focus on the whole picture. They look at the, the holistic picture of things. Western cultures focus on individual objects uh, and, and analyze things in terms of how the individual relates as opposed to looking at the entire community. Now, the biggest difficulties that Chinese students face are integrating into the community that they find at their school. If somebody says something that uh, that seems critical, they not only think it's, it's an attack against them individually, but perhaps against their community or against the entire Chinese population. Whereas for, for American students, a lot of times you have to get used to the idea that if I say you're wrong or I say I believe you're different, it's not like I'm saying, it's not like I'm attacking you. I'm not saying I don't like you or you're a bad person or you're not intelligent. I'm just saying that there is a difference in belief and so let's discuss and try to work it out. So I think Chinese students in general just in some cases need to become more comfortable with that concept so that they can engage with other students. As far as the application of it, of it in, in my life and as I've seen with, with my students, I think what you see actually in the, in the writing that my students did, there was a lack of uh, individual analytic application. And what I mean by that is they would they would look at a phenomenon and they would write sort of in circular patterns. They wouldn't write, they wouldn't be able to focus on one thing and then connect it logically to a next thing and have a series of, uh, of ideas that ultimately lead to a conclusion.